Hi, it's Father Barry, and it's the Daily Word, and it's May 13th, Thursday. Our Lady of Fatima. Let us pray. O oh God, who chose the mother of your son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world. We may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We're in the Acts of the Apostles still, and uh, Acts 18. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. When, Paul, when Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue, and Cyprus, I mean Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord, along with the entire household and many of the Corinthians who heard believed and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Our Lady of Fatima is much about conversion and the call to conversion. And we hear of Paul trying to convert people. Of course, the word of God, the spirit of God, Jesus is the one really converting, but we're his servants. We are hoping that people will come to believe in Jesus. So it says Paul got help from Macedonia. That's where Paul was before. Then he travels down to Athens and down to Corinth. He's in Corinth and he finds he's getting some helpers. A, a married couple come in and move in and they're very mature in the faith. And they've moved from Rome to Corinth. And now these two uh, two guys we know all about, uh, like Silas and, and uh, Timothy, they're coming. And then we have uh, we have some converts happening, and it says the Corinthians heard and believed the good news and were baptized. The Corinthians not being Jews, okay, Corinthians being Greeks, and they're coming to believe. And Paul's very pleased to see the gospel's working. So are we. We're glad to see when the gospel works and people come to faith. And how we are to reach them with the gospel is many different ways but let's try to be servants of the good news this week this is father barry on your daily word